Only twice in the history of our country has a son followed his father to the Oval Office. Now, the first father-son duo to do this was John Adams, the second commander-in-chief, and then his son, John Quincy, who would become the sixth commander-in-chief at the turn of the 19th century. Now, the second would come in 2000, when an easygoing Texan would follow in his father's footsteps to bring a conservative balance to the White House after the Clinton administration. He was the 43rd president of the United States, George W. Bush. Now, the younger Bush was born in the Northeast, but spent his formative years in Texas. He began his life trajectory as a successful businessman and would eventually go on to be a successful owner of the Texas Rangers, following a passion of baseball that he had had since he was a little boy. 